Good morning, students. Unit six, gas estate. Unit six, gas estate. In this session, I am going to teach the gas loss. The gas loss. So in previous class, already you know that the first law, Boyle's law. First law, Boyle's law. The Boyle's law relate volume and pressure. Volume and pressure. Okay. So according to Boyle's law, a fixed mass of a gas, a fixed mass of a gas at constant pressure, constant temperature, constant temperature. The volume is. Inversely proportional to pressure. A fixed mass of a gas at constant temperature, the volume is inversely proportional to pressure. It's a Boyle's law. In second law, Sorlis law. Charles law. A fixed mass of a gas. At constant pressure. So pressure is a constant in Charles law. Temperature is constant in Boyle's law. A fixed mass of a gas at constant pressure. The volume is directly proportional to temperature. The volume is directly proportional to temperature. See Charles law. Okay, so first one Boyle's law, second one Charles law. Already you know that the third law, the third gas laws, the Kaluzov's law, Kaluzov's law, Kaluzov's law. The third law relate pressure and temperature. Pressure and temperature. In fourth law, Avogadro hypothesis. Avogadro hypothesis. Okay, so the fourth one, Avogadro hypothesis. Avogadro hypothesis. The Avogadro hypothesis relay number of moles and volume. Number of moles and volume. Are you right? Okay, students. So the third gas loss, Hay-Lussac's law. Hay-Lussac's law. So pressure and temperature relationship. A fixed mass of a gas. A fixed mass of a gas at constant volume. At constant volume. Okay, the pressure is directly proportional to temperature. Directly proportional to temperature. Right? The pressure is Directly proportional to temperature. At constant volume, the pressure of the pressure of a fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to temperature. Do right? So the proportionality constant P is equal to K into T. K into T. So therefore, P by T is equal to K. P by T is equal to K. Okay. In a P1, if P1 and P2, if P1 and P2 are pressures at temperatures of T1 and T2 respectively. And according to Hay-Lussac's law, the P1, T1 is equal to P2. T2. P1 by T1 is equal to P2 by T2. For example, the organ is an inert gas. So, organ is an inert gas used in light bulbs to retard the vaporization of the tungsten flame. Organ is an inert gas. So, in a purpose can the bulb play is for wrong day now. The tungsten flame and not a vaporation tendency decrease. So, retard the vaporization of the tungsten flame. 
<coughs> a certain light bulb containing argon at 1.2 atm and 18 degree celsius a certain light bulb containing argon at 1.2 atm and 18 degree celsius okay so 1.2 atm is a p1 value and temperature p1 is heated to 85 degree celsius so t2 increase the temperature in according to heilusov's law the pressure is increases the temperature also increases are you right the temperature is increases so pressure also increases at constant volume calculate the final pressure p2 in atm do right so given value the given value p1 is equal to 1.2 atm 1.2 atm <coughs> and t1 t1 is equal to 18 degree celsius plus add 273 okay degree celsius to kelvin okay so 8 3 11 <coughs> 1 so remaining 1 8 so 8 1 9 9 okay 2 1 plus 3 391 kelvin to write so 8 plus 2 8 plus 3 11 remaining 1 so 8 1 9 9 so 2 291 291 kelvin in t1 mode. okay so t2 t2 so t2 is equal to 85 degree celsius 85 degree celsius so plus 273 that is equal to 5 plus 3 8 okay so 8 plus 7 15 remaining 1 358 kelvin 358 kelvin okay so p2 is equal to what p2 is equal to what according to hayes lusak law according to hayes lusak law the p1 by t1 is equal to p2 by t2 p2 by t2 to write okay so substitute the values the p1 p1 t2 is equal to p1 t2 is equal to p2 t1 right so cross multiplication p1 t2 is equal to p2 t1 okay so therefore p2 so therefore p2 is equal to p2 is equal to p1 p1 into p2 by p1 right so p2 is equal to p1 t2 by t1 it is equal to p1 so p1 1.2 atm into t2 t2 358 358 kelvin divided by okay t1 291 kelvin 291 kelvin right so kelvin kelvin cancel <coughs> 1.2 into 358 so 358 into 1.2 right so 2 into 6 16 1 2 into 5 10 11 2 into 3 6 7 so 8 5 3 so 6 9 6 9 okay so 12 4 so 429.6 429.6 right so it is equal to it is equal to 429.6 divided by 291 atm 291 atm so log 429.6 is equal to so three digit so 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6331 2.6
okay so log 291 is equal to so three digit so 2.4639 4639 okay so in <coughs> divider so subtract the log value 1192 So two twelve twelve three nine. Okay. So remaining remaining two twelve. So twelve six six. Remaining five five four one point zero. The antilog of zero point one six nine two is equal to one four seven six. So one point four seven six. So P two is equal to P two is equal to P two is equal to one point four eight one point four eight eight dm. Are you right? The P one value one point two eight dm. The P two value one point four eight eight dm. According to Hale's law, the temperature is increases. The pressure value are also increases. Okay, so the pressure is directly proportional to temperature. Okay, so the T value, the temperature value is increases. The pressure value are also increases. You right? Okay, students. The fourth gas law. Our gas law hypothesis. Our gas law hypothesis. The our gas law hypothesis related to the number of moles and Boiling. Okay, so the how that the hypothesis relate number of moles and boiling. The how that the hypothesis the equal boiling of all gases. The equal boiling of all gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure. The temperature and pressure is same. So contain equal number of moles. Equal number of moles. Are you right? So the Avogadro so hypothesis that the equal boilings of all gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure contain equal number of moles. So V directly proportional to N. The volume directly proportional to number of moles. Okay. So same pressure and Temperature conditions. Are you right? So therefore, the V is equal to constant K to N. Therefore, V by N is equal to constant. V by N is equal to constant, and V one by N one is equal to V one by N one is equal to V two by N two, where V one and N one are the volume and number of moles of gases, and V two and N two are the set different set of the different set of values the different set values of volume and number of moles of the same gas and same temperature and pressure. Same temperature and pressure. You right? So, for example, of two sample of nitrogen gas, of two sample of nitrogen gas, sample A contains one point five moles of N two. So, the number of moles of A, N A, one point five moles of N two in a vessel vessel of volume. Volume of thirty seven point six decimeter cube. So the volume of A V A <coughs> V A thirty seven point six decimeter cube at two ninety eight Kelvin at two ninety eight Kelvin. And the sample B is in a vessel of volume sixteen point five decimeter cube. So volume of Vessel B, sixteen point five decimeter cube at two ninety eight Kelvin. So same temperature, same temperature, so same gas. Okay, same pressure. The calculate the number of moles of sample B. N B is equal to what? Right. So N A 
number of moles of A. 1.5 moles and VA is equal to 37.6 decimeter cube <coughs> and VB is equal to 16.5 decimeter cube 16.5 decimeter cube and NB is equal to what? NB is equal to what? According to Avahato hypothesis VA by NA is equal to VB by NB Right? So the VA into NB is equal to NB B B B B N A B B N A. So therefore, B N B is equal to. Therefore, N B is equal to B B N A by B A B A. That is equal to B B. So B B. 16.5 16.5 decimeter cube decimeter cube into NA so NA 1.5 moles divided by VA so VA that is 7.6 decimeter cube decimeter cube decimeter cube cancel right <coughs> the 16.5 into 1.5 16.5 into 1.5 5 into 5 25 okay 6 into 5 30 so 2 remaining 3 1 5 8 okay One into five five, one into six six, one into one. So five seven fourteen two. Okay. So twenty four point seven five. That is equal to twenty four point seven five divided by thirty seven point six. That is seven point six. Mode is equal to the log of 24.75. Log of 24.75. So two digit 1.394. 1.394. And log of 37.6, 1.575. So subtract the value. So 459. 871. 13.58. Okay. Zero. So 0 minus 1, 1 bar. <coughs> the antilog of 0.819 is equal to 6.59 into 10 power minus 1. So that is equal to 0 0.66. So the NB is equal to NB is equal to NB is equal to 0 0.66 moles. 0 0.66 moles. So NA 1.5. The volume that is 7.6. Right? In volume vessel B 16.5. 16.5. The NB 0 0.66. Okay. So the number of moles and volume is directly proportional. The volume is directly proportional to number of moles. The volume is increases. The number of moles are also increases to compare with the NB. So volume 16.5, volume 37.5. So volume is increases. The VA value is increases than VB. Right? So NA value 1.5, 0 0.66. So the number of moles are also the NA value is increases than NB. The volume is increases. The volume is increases. The number of moles are also increases. Correct? Okay, students. So the next one is 
ideal gas equation. The next one is ideal gas equation. The gaseous state. The gaseous state completely described by using four variable volume, temperature, pressure, and number of moles. The first law, Boyle's law. The Boyle's law. The volume is inversely proportional to pressure. The volume is inversely proportional to pressure. In second law, Sarles law. Sarles law. The volume is directly proportional to temperature. Okay. The third one, Avogadro hypothesis. In Avogadro's, Avogadro's law or Avogadro hypothesis, the volume is directly proportional to number of moles. So four variables: volume, temperature, pressure, and number of moles. In combine the above laws, okay. So to give general equation V is equal to V is equal to sorry V directly proportional to number of moles and temperature and inversely proportional to pressure. Right? The volume is directly proportional to number of moles and temperature and inversely proportional to pressure. This equation describes the physical behavior of all gases. The physical behavior of all gases. Are you right? The V is equal to the proportionality constant when R is introduced. Okay, R nt by P. So, R is a universal gas constant. So, R is a universal gas constant. Universal gas constant. Are you right? So, V is equal to R in the R nt by P. So, R is a universal gas constant. Okay. So, rearrange this equation to give ideal gas equation. So, ideal gas equation. The ideal gas equation. PV is equal to PV is equal to NRT. PV is equal to NRT. Okay, so the PV is equal to NRT is the ideal gas equation, right? So already you know that the, the unit of pressure is differing different condition. <coughs> Are you right? So the unit of pressure ATM, bar, pascal, millimeter mercury. So different unit having pressure. Pressure having different units. So the P value, the unit of P change, the R value are also changed. Are you right? So the R is equal to the R is equal to PV by PV by NT. ND. The unit of pressure is changed, the R value are also changed. Okay. So the important one in R value. So in first one, in SATP condition, in SATP condition, okay, the standard, the standard Ampian, the standard Ampian temperature and pressure, temperature and pressure. SATP, the standard ampient temperature and pressure. Ampient means surrounding. So, trooper. Okay. So, in SATP condition, the 1 ATM, 1 ATM, okay, 273 Kelvin, 
the volume is equal to 22.4 decimeter cube decimeter cube okay so the r value in sadp condition r is equal to p 1 atm 1 atm into volume 22.4 decimeter cube so divided by mole one mole into so temperature 273 kelvin 273 kelvin one one cancel okay 22.4 divided by 273 is equal to 0.0821 Zero point zero eight two one decimeter cube atm decimeter cube atm kelvin inverse mole inverse in SATP condition in SATP condition so in SATP condition the R value is equal to zero point zero eight two one decimeter cube ATM Kelvin inverse mole inverse. ATM Kelvin inverse mole inverse. To write in STP condition, standard temperature and pressure. Okay, so one bar, one bar, two seventy three Kelvin. Okay, so volume is equal to twenty two point seven. Decimeter cube. Decimeter cube. So the R is equal to R is equal to PV by NT. It is equal to P one bar. One bar into volume twenty two point seven decimeter cube. Twenty two point seven decimeter cube divided by N one mole. One mole into so <coughs> T two seventy three Kelvin. Okay, that is one bar one one cancel twenty two point seven divided by two seventy three is equal to zero point zero eight three one four eight point zero point zero eight three one four <coughs> one four bar decimeter. Q Kelvin inverse mole inverse that is equal to eight point three one four into ten power minus two bar decimeter Q Kelvin inverse mole inverse right so one Decimeter cube is equal to one decimeter cube is equal to ten power minus three meter. Cube. One decimeter cube is equal to ten power minus three meter cube. So eight point three one four into ten power minus ten power minus three ten power minus two ten power minus five bar decimeter cube. Meter cube, meter cube, Kelvin inverse, mole inverse, Kelvin inverse, mole inverse. Right? One bar is equal to ten power five Pascal. Right? One bar is equal to ten power five Pascal. It is equal to ten power minus five. Ten power five cancel. So eight point three one four. Pascal meter cube Kelvin inverse mole inverse Kelvin inverse mole inverse R decimeter cube so one bar one bar is equal to ten power five Pascal you right one bar is equal to ten power five Pascal ten power five ten power minus ten power minus two so ten power three so eight point Three one four eight point three one four into ten power three ten power three Pascal ten power three Pascal decimeter cube decimeter cube Kelvin inverse mole inverse Kelvin inverse mole inverse right. <coughs>
that one decimeter cube is equal to one liter. So 8.314 into 10 power 3, 10 power 3 Pascal liter Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Right? One Pascal is equal to one Pascal is equal to one by one thirty three. One by one thirty three millimeter of mercury. Millimeter of mercury. Therefore, R is equal to R is equal to one Pascal is equal to one by thirty three millimeter of mercury. So ten power three eight three one four divided by one thirty three. Is equal to 62. So 62 millimeter mercury. 62 millimeter mercury. 62 millimeter mercury is equal to 8.314 into 10 power 3 Pascal. So liter Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Liter Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Right? The next, <coughs> so 8.314 in the 10 power minus 2 bar R is equal to 8.314 in the 10 power minus 2 bar liter Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Kelvin inverse mole inverse. The 8.314 10 power minus 2 Okay, so 10 power minus 2 bar liter is equal to joule. 10 power minus 2 bar liter is equal to joule. So that is equal to 8.314 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Okay, so pressure value is different. The unit of pressure is different. The R value are also different. You right? In SATP condition, the R value is equal to 0 0.08 to 1 decimeter cube ATM Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Right? So, in STP condition, in STP condition, the 1 bar, 1 bar, so 0 0.0, 8.314 into 10 power minus 2 bar decimeter cube Kelvin inverse mole inverse. 1 bar is equal to 10 power 5 Pascal. 1 bar is equal to 10 power 5 Pascal. Okay. So, about, therefore, 8.34 into 10 power minus 5. 1 decimeter cube is equal to 10 power minus 3 meter cube. So, 10 power minus 3 into 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 5. Bar meter cube Kelvin inverse mole inverse. 1 bar is equal to 10 power 5 Pascal. So 8.314 into 10 power minus 2 into 10 power 5, 10 power 3. So 8.314 into 10 power 3, Pascal decimeter cube, Kelvin inverse, mole inverse. Are you right? Okay. So 8.314 into 10 power 3, Pascal is equal to 62 millimeter of mercury. One Pascal is equal to 1 by 133 millimeter mercury. Are you right? So, so 10 power 3, so 8000, sorry. 8314 divided by 133 is equal to 62. 62 millimeter mercury liter Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Right? 10 power minus 2 bar liter is equal to joule. So 8.314 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Right? Okay, students. Thank you, students. We'll meet next class.